Check, check. How's everyone doing today? Thank you all for coming. Um, so I am a senior in college. I'm a real person in a month. So crazy feelings right now, but you know what you do is you look back and you reflect. What I've been doing a lot of reflecting is the risks that I've taken in my time while coming up in the NFT space. So what I was trying to do is do something crazy. I wanted to do something that would make an impact. So I had a wild idea. What if you took found footage horror, cinema verte, and you applied it to the blockchain? So what I did is I started marketing a PFP NFT project that you know exemplified the board ape style generative collection, and I marketed it as you know a lot of these rug pulls were marketed. Then one day, I made an announcement the day that everyone thought we were gonna mint the NFTs. I said, I apologize. Our project's been cursed by a witch. We have no idea what's going on. Please watch this film. And what was the film? It's a 12 minute short film that follows the founders putting the project together step by step. They get a smart contract developer. They get our real artist Hideo, who's done a bunch of successful projects for art blocks. And um, things go wrong for them when a witch is their smart contract developer, curses the code so anyone who mints an NFT becomes possessed. So, Cracked out story, absolutely berserk, but I got my grandpa, convinced him to buy me a ticket to NFT NYC last year. I went, I saw a bunch of people speak, including you, Stacy, legend, um, love seeing you speak, that was inspiring last year. And um, you know, I snuck backstage, I met Spike Lee, I connected with his people, I, I made so many valuable connections at this conference, and because I asked questions and I took risks. And you know, that's what I'm doing, that's what I'm reflecting on. So anyway, I released the film. You can go on Wacko Worms NFT on Twitter right now and you can look at the reactions people had. People were freaking out. We lost 600 followers that day because people actually thought that the project was cursed by a witch. They were freaking out, which is a huge win for me, you know, trying to make something be uh, presented as real. But why did that project work? Is because the blockchain, with its inherent incontrovertible evidence of every transaction and the transparency that goes along with it, to use it to perpetuate that realism of a found footage film is something that hadn't been done until Wacko Worms. So where did that lead me? That took me to London to speak at NFT London. And I, bump, I made a bunch of friends there, made multiple connections, one of which was a gentleman named Crypto Novo, who's standing right over there. I bumped into Novo on the street. This man is a legend, he's anonymous. At first I was like, whoa, whoa, whoa what's going on here? He's, he's wearing glasses and a, and a clown nose, what, what, what's this guy's deal? And yet. We talked, we're walking on the street, and within three minutes, I knew that this was one of the most genuine people I had ever met. And he instantly became my friend. We spent like seven hours straight, going from party to party in Soho in London. And um, we walked like an hour from, from Soho to Big Ben that night, just talking about the space and our vision for it. So, um, you know, moving forward, I've made all these Film 3 connections, and um, Speaking of Crypto Novo and the story, Novo, why don't you just come up here? I'd love to, love to talk a little bit about what we're working on now. So when I met Crypto Novo, I knew that this man test, test. has a story to be told. And um, you know, as time went on, his story continued to unfold and get more and more fascinating. So him and I have been talking you know, since November of last year. And my company, Muggsy Media Corp, is now officially doing the Crypto Novo documentary. And um, Nova, you want to talk a little bit about this? Yeah, that was just started with a conversation. It was a conversation that we had at NFT uh, London. And just like you were saying, we were going from an event to an event. You were, you know, promoting your project, talking it up. And that just turned into onboarding people and more and more people. And I saw your energy and I saw how you're a go-getter and I saw how you're an active participant in the space. Very similar to ho how I was doing it. But I have one heck of a story to tell, and we all need help telling these stories. We can present it on, you know, in the metaverse. We can, you know, stream it. But sometimes you need to go to the real professionals. And just seeing how you're go-getting, um, the passion that you had behind it, and the uniqueness of how you're taking an iconic film that we just, you know, heard about uh, in the panel before, spun it on your own, but educating people along the way, and it just hyperdrived into today where. I think it was like 10 days ago, we were in Chicago, filming in Chicago, running around New York, filming now, and you know, you're hard at work, working you know, 23, 24 hour days to you know, get your product out there. And um, it's just all comes full circle that we're here to help each other and we gotta tell these stories and present these stories to onboard more people. 
Thank you, I appreciate that. Because this all ties into what I was saying earlier, risk taking. You could imagine me as a, as a junior in college last year going to pitch these grown ass men about a crazy short film about cursed smart contracts and a witch with NFTs. People looked at me like I was nuts. And yet, when we released the film, the feedback was so phenomenal. It led me to getting connected with Crypto Novo. And it led me to creating this documentary teaser, which we're actually going to show to you in about a minute, because it's ready. And we want people to start checking this out and getting a kick out of it. Because this man's story is one unlike anything you've ever seen before. And it needs to be told. And I'm so lucky that I have the privilege to, to tell it. So you know, let's just, let's just roll the, the teaser. I've never seen this, by the way. Premiere for me as well. Wearing CryptoPunk 3706 is based on trying to find something to do which is cool in the space in IRL. Looking different is sometimes what turns heads in a room. How much money did you make through NFTs? Oh man, this is all on chain so you guys can look it up. Uh, right around 5.7 million. You know, it's one of those things where if you had a time machine, you'd go back and warn yourself. started turning into almost a religion in the sense you'd have the same people meeting at the same time. Haha, -ha, there's a clown that lost all of his money. Hey, I took a risk, I took a chance. I was contacted, believe it or not, by the FBI about this. And they wanted to know more about what happened in this case because it was such a high value amount of NFTs that got stolen. How much did I make or what the value in the wallet was is two different things because I haven't really cashed anything out. Welcome all my aliens, apes, and zombies. Welcome to the hood. Those of you who don't know, prior to me becoming Crypto Novo, I was a physical education teacher. And this documentary is important because I have one hell of a story and I've had one awesome life filled with great stories, filled with my friends. And I bring my friends along the whole time for this because you can't tell a story if you don't have friends around to listen. I'm just a normal person, you know, wearing a clown nose, a tassel hat, trying to help others. Here we go. Thanks, That's man. the Go Film Novo documentary. It's in development right now. Go on Twitter right now, look up Go Film Novo if you want to keep up to date with everything that's going on on that front. This is going to be a killer feature film. And you know, I got a minute left, so what I'm gonna say is my philosophy on onboarding people to the NFT space is a little bit more cynical because most of my friends don't love NFTs and I speak to a lot of people who think it's all nonsense and I don't necessarily think that going up to these people and saying, hey, come and learn about this, it's gonna be 10 times harder to do that. So my philosophy is to put it simply, I wanna trick people. I wanna trick people into learning about this space and how will I do that? through a fun and compelling storyline. That's what I did with the Wacko Worm short film, where you watch a crazy story of people putting a project together, you learn what a smart contract is, you learn about the algorithm that puts together a generative collection, but also you don't even realize you're learning because of the storyline. And with Novo, this man has one of the most unbelievable stories I've ever heard in my entire freaking life, and people are gonna watch it, they're gonna enjoy it, they're gonna be heartbroken and heart warmed by it, and it's really just gonna make people feel. So with all of that, thank you all for taking my time. Keep up the date. I hope you all check out the film when it's released and um, have a great one. Thank you. Stay positive and love life. Peace.